Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial and today uh, we're going to be um, doing the most useful thing, probably like one of the most useful things we'll ever do, which is a J file chooser. So this can either, you can either implement this into your um, swing program or swing FX program. Um, or you can uh, just put in a terminal, like just just a terminal, which is what I'm going to be doing here. So basically, uh, a J file chooser is a uh, box that opens up that allows it's like a it's a visual of um, of your directories and all that, and you can like do filters on it so like it will only show directories, which is what we're going to be doing. Or directories and files, or specific, or files with specific extensions, or it's just so handy. Okay, so because you know, I mean, you don't need to type it out. Like, you want to see C colon slash, you know, user slash so and so slash desktop slash text files or whatever. Um, so to start to execute this, you actually need a button, which is kind of weird. Like, you need a component for it to like open up. Uh, but it doesn't the button doesn't itself does not need to be pressed? It's kind of weird. So I'm gonna create a uh, J button. I'm gonna call it um, Open equals new J button. Oops. All right. So I created a new J, a J button called Open. Uh, this is gonna be the component I'm gonna use to uh, open up the box. So now I'm gonna create a file chooser. I'm gonna call it new file chooser okay oops oops try to put J in front of it um okay so now we created both a button and a file chooser now what we need to do is set all the properties uh, for this file chooser so first off, uh, we should set the directory that it's going to be starting at. So you can do like a home directory, the directory that the file's in, or you can specify your own directory. Like I can send it to my desktop if it's like just me using it. I can just do that. So I can do FC. Uh, so I'm going to do um, current. I spell this. All right. So I'm going to do uh, new. Uh, I own a file, so I'm gonna just send it to my desktop. So this would doing um, doing this would set this thing right here would actually uh, set the current directory to the project's location on the computer. Uh, but for the purpose of this, I would I might as well just do my own home directory. So this will start up on my desktop. So now I'm gonna want to set the uh, title of the thing. So you know, like you, you know, and all of the GUI programs you see, the, you can set the title. You can also set the title for your file chooser. We do set dialog title. Well, actually, it's right there. And I'm gonna call it Hello World. Because that's as generic as you could possibly get. Now, so I'm gonna set it so that it will only show directories. So like, you're asking the user to save a file somewhere, like select a directory to, to save this file to. So I'd be like, uh, set file select oops, mode okay, file chooser dot. Um, I'm gonna do what is it like directories only. There we go. Oops. That's sir, not set. There we go. Um, it's a capital T. Okay. Uh, so what this will do is the file chooser will now only show directories and direct just just directories. It's not gonna show anything else at all. All right. Last but not least, we uh, need to actually open up the file chooser. So this is where the button comes in because uh, this actually requires a component in order to open. So now I will uh, do like an if statement here. So 
fc dot show open dialog. Oops. See, I'm specifying the component now. So, oops. Damn. All right. Equals j file chooser dot prove option. There we go. And that's going to do absolutely nothing. I mean, you could have it so that it constantly does, you know, prints out something, but you don't you don't need it for this. So currently it's not going to print out diddly squat. Um and now below this, after that if statement, I'm going to uh just print out the uh directory that the user clicked on. So I'm going to do fc dot get selected file get oops not absolute file path there we go so this will um, print out exactly what the user clicked on. And so you can see how this would be useful because you can just have it so that it just opens up a uh, file chooser, user just selects it, and it will continue the terminal program, or so, you know something like that. So like you, know, like you chose uh, this. So I press if I run this program. See, okay, so it opens up a uh, file chooser now. It says "Hello World." As you can see, that it only shows directories. So I go to images; it just shows all the things in there. So I want to choose text files. You chose C colon slash user slash vince slash desktop slash text files. So it actually chose, it actually printed out uh, what file I chose so you can you could really see how this could be really handy so that the user does not have to type out the location especially if they don't know precisely where the location is so if you want to make a program that's actually user friendly which is highly recommended if you're giving it to another person uh, I I would at least most definitely do this because of how nice it is to the user I mean you can also have it so that it also saves the user's selected position before, and so it's just so useful. And I use it all the time. It's so good. Um, so uh, I hope that this uh, was helpful to you because I know that this I use this all the time. So I hope that you'll be able to like uh, use these final users all the time because it's so flipping useful and I hate it when people just do the C call, make the user type it out that's not cool um, so alright anyway thank you for watching I mean if you, ha if you have any questions or you know about programming in general um, feel free to ask me and I'll try to I don't know I'll, I'll try to respond to it as best I can or if you have any if you want to recommend future projects or videos, I mean, then feel free to ask in the comments. And yeah, that's it. Please subscribe, like, share, do, do whatever you want with the video. I don't care. Alright, see you next time.